Hey everybody, I'm back. In this video, I'm going to talk about something uh, very important when it comes to converting your Sega to an AK, and uh, that is, of course, the bullet guide. When I was first getting started, I did a lot of you know research and everything, and it was very, very hard to find quality information about exactly what you need to do. Um, first things first, the bullet guide is going to go right there. And it is going to be what helps feed the bullets into the barrel from your AK magazines because we're not going to be using the Sega magazines anymore and that's one of the major reasons people normally do the conversion is to use the surplus um, magazines they have or you know owned prior to whatever was going on in their state. Uh, in this case, you need to be aware of two things. There are two different models of Sega when it comes to this. You have the flat or round trunion. And uh, you can see that mine right here is flat. Hopefully that can zoom in pretty well, or focus, I mean. And it's literally flat. The round one is just a little concave bowl, essentially, or, you know, half pipe. If you have a round trunion, you can do everything I'm about to do, or show you, with a uh, one-inch diameter steel pipe. Just cut it, measure it out, uh, so it goes out to about here. And, um, you know, just drill a hole stuff it in there and it'll be fine. Uh, if you're doing a flat trunion like I did, you can literally just buy a piece of 1 8 inch thick steel plate, like I did, and you can grind it. I'm going to show you the measurements here just to make it easier. Um, I'll do it in millimeters, but it is 1 8 inch thick, and that's exactly what you should start with. You're going to make it approximately 22 millimeters or 21 millimeters long. And you're going to make, remember, the whole thing is going to be 3 millimeters, right? About 6.3 millimeters from one of the edges. You're going to grind that down to about 2.25 millimeters. So just, you'll have essentially a step like that. And that is so that you can stick it right under the barrel. Let me try to get in there. Yeah, right under the barrel, as you can see. Once you do that, you're going to want to round off the other edge, so it's going to be flat there, or brought down there, and round it off there just so you don't have a, a sharp point. And then you're going to want to drill a hole right in the center of that guy. You know, obviously put it in there first and just make sure it lines up properly, but drill a hole. For me, what I did is I actually drilled it off to the side completely, as you can see, and that's just to give me a little bit of wiggle room in terms of positioning it. I also purchased a... Uh, 8 by thir or 832 screw with stainless steel and it was an allen wrench and I ground off the head too and then finally I ground off that it doesn't look pretty but it works and the reason was because I wanted it to be roughly the same height once it's installed just like that otherwise it would have had a you know a little lump going up like that and that might mess with the uh, bullet feeding into the barrel I didn't want to deal with that doing that will help it feed the uh, the bullet straight into the barrel, which will make everything work flawlessly when you're actually shooting semi-automatic. It might work, you might think you don't need it when you're actually just, you know, uh, pulling the the bolt assembly back and putting a bullet in, but when you're actually shooting it will get stuck and that's not fun. Finally, once you do that, you're going to drill a hole right there, line it up. Mine's a bit offset, but that's fine because again, I did draw, or I did, you know, cut that sideways. You're going to place it in, you're going to drill it and tap it. You're going to want it to go through this right there, but not through the bottom receiver. So it's going to end, and I'll be fine, and you're going to tap it. If you don't know about tapping, you can look up other videos. I'm not, you know, by any means an expert with it, so I don't want to give you guys advice, but it's very simple. This was actually my first tap job that I did, and while the hole wasn't drilled too centered, the tap job was, you know, phenomenal. Uh, I'll give you guys a, a link to a tapping set and, you know, whatever in the description. Um... However, once you actually do all of that, sorry, I have a bunch of stuff here. Let me move that out of the way. Once you get all of that out of the way, and once that's right there, you are going to want to Okay, hopefully that lightens up a bit, but you're going to take the bullet guide, and remember, if you have a round trunion, you're just going to uh, essentially stick that in as a 
as a, whatchamacallit, a half inch diameter pipe that's been cut to about the same length. I gave you the thing, it was, I think it was like 22 millimeters, and you're going to not worry about getting it under there, but that's fine. Next, you're going to put just a dab of Loctite on the screw, and that's going to help it from wiggling loose, which is not going to be fun. So bam, just a little dab, nothing too crazy. And then... Just start screwing it right down in to that tapped hole you did. And I like to just make sure that it is in fact lined up properly. So give me a second. That's fine. Uh, And you can see the recession that I did is going to hold everything very well and make sure that everything is lined up very well. So there you go, the bullet bide's done. And it might look sort of stupid, but it will work 100% and you'll save whatever the $25 that some of these companies charge for the little piece of metal and a screw. So that's this video. In the next video, I'm actually going to get into assembling everything, but I just wanted to have a separate video, like I said of just the bullet guide so that people can find it and get the information they're looking for without having to, you know, skip through a bunch of videos and a bunch of other information. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.